Today I'm in Denver, Colorado, attending Geo Week 2024. So let's head inside to the convention center and check out the exhibit hall. All these people are getting ready to get inside of the exhibit hall. It's going to be about that time. All right, let's go into the exhibit hall. I think the first stop I'm gonna make is here, a fan favorite, the RCN booth. Is that Becca? Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> to see you too. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good dude. I love this, this is awesome. Oh yeah, we're not messing around. No. We're we'll recording podcast episodes all week long. Very good. Shit, I'll link it down in the description so yeah, everyone can watch it. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good, good, dude, I love this, this is awesome. We're excited to have a booth at, our, at uh, Geo Week for the first time. We're recording some podcast episodes. Uh, we'll probably have about 20 short episodes where we're interviewing people that are here from around the world. Uh -huh. Biggest focus is just building the community and trying to educate people and help people build relationships. Honestly, right. that's our biggest focus. How much, how much is this again? After I pick it up. By the handle here and then the back. Just like that, huh? Yeah. Like oh, wow. That. If I drop this, how much would I owe you? 350. 350. And that's something. This is a great system, especially for GIS level assets. You can, it's really light. You can set it up on a car and get going really quick. And if, if you care about things that are right away to right away, it's, um, it's a great little system. It collects uh, 600,000 points a second and it has uh, match point technology in it, so it has an AI correction yeah. to correct uh, this LiDAR data. Nice. Make it really nice and crisp. It's got the same frame and a lot of the same components as the more advanced survey grade systems. Yeah. Uh, so you can take this system and you can upgrade it to a TRK500 or 700. I think I've seen those. I was in Intergeo and yeah. I, we tested it out and did a whole demo. Yeah, so. yeah, no, they're, it's, really, it's really cool. So you can start here at kind of like uh, get into mobile mapping with a, like a totally integrated system that's easy to use and then, and then you can upgrade later as, you know, if the business takes off, so. Nice, very cool. Welcome to our booth. We do everything geospatial, pretty much. We have a range of LiDAR scanners. This is actually the latest one we launched, but it's the FJD Trion P1 scanner. It's got around two centimeters of relative accuracy. It's got point cloud colorization with the 360 camera, and it's very lightweight, only around one kilogram or two and a half pounds. And this is our range of RTK rovers. We have the V1T right here. Um, and then the newer B10i GNSS system. Now this is actually very special. This is our medium format camera at 150 megapixels um, and it works for city planning, um, smart city scanning, photogrammetry from a helicopter, very cool stuff. And this is actually a sneak peek of what's to come. It has not launched and I can't tell you the name of it yet, but it's pretty much a very simple to use point cloud solution on the iPad. Nice, very cool. You see it's starting camera. It's already easy. All right, cool. So I just walk around? Oh, I see the trajectory now, okay. You can see the blue circle is us right now, and actually the scanner, and the white dots and the bright line is the drive directory. Very cool. And so the camera that's on here is colorizing your LiDAR point cloud? Exactly. Okay. It also ha uh, has another function, which is the walkthrough function. We're launching very soon. So that part actually uh, gets you the point cloud data with a free 160 degree uh, photo. So it's just like a Google map, you can walk around with it, and then looks inside what you capture while uh, with the camera. Okay. This one 
is in top view of it. Okay. And we can actually run it inside, and we have a preview of a less dense point cloud result inside here at the moment. If you want the whole picture of it, you can put it inside the computer or you can put it inside the uh, iPad. Okay. Which is why we are launching that one. So oh, there, there's the column. I see it. Yeah. Very good. Cool. Very nice. Appreciate it. having some audio issues here but i met up with my good friend jason lan over at land labs he's also the creator of the 3d scanner app and i'm excited to show you some of the work that he's done for the new apple vision pro when it comes to visualizing geospatial data here's us setting up the vision pro and i look like some kind of space alien but this is the first person view of the vision pro this is exactly what i saw while i was wearing the headset so now we're going to launch a you know a LiDAR scan model that has been post-processed with the photogrammetry, so we get a really super high quality texture. So if you want to go into that machine part. Uh, that would be the machine part. That's this one right here? Yep. That's the, we just the demo we put together really quickly. Nice. So here you see a really high quality scan. You can see the texture perfectly. And you know, it's a great, with the other demo you saw annotation, so annotation, drawing notes on this. It's a great way to do remote inspection. You know, someone in the field could be doing the capture, someone back in the office could be inspecting the part. It's just a whole new surface of how to like, communicate in 3D. That's incredible. The amount of detail that you can see. I mean, it's, you know, it's right there. You can get up close to it. You can see all the different bolts, the different, you know, this is... So let's do a fun demo now. Let's go back and do the air, uh, air draw geo. So air draw... Underscore geo. Underscore geo. Launch painting. Let's pinch and move your hand slowly. You should see it draw through the space. Oh my God. So this drawing right now is just fun, but imagine annotating on a point cloud or drawing on the photogrammetry model we just saw and sharing that information really quickly. So this is gonna be a whole new way to communicate, you know, in 3D with people in the field or in the office. Uh, you know, brand new era of spatial computing. No exactly. kidding. And so if I and so here I can actually change the different types of sizing, the the, the format of the paint, so this is flat. I can use a color. And what does physics do? Physics, if you, when you draw something in space, it'll make it fall down. As soon as you let go. <laughs> oh wow! Nice. I love that. Very cool. What about like point clouds? If I want to look at point clouds, am I able to do that? Point cloud. We have that one point cloud demo. If you relaunch Air, air Draw Geo, uh, you'll say load model there, and then you can see the point cloud. Oh wow, look at that. So here's a point cloud we loaded on the stairway with some annotations on it that some notes have been made and some various people can look at the inspection and make comments and share that with other people. It's, you know, it's a lot easier than just looking at it on the screen. You, know, you can really see that 3D point cloud. And, and I can move it. this around? Yeah. It's bouncing away from me. <laughs> but, but. There we go, got it. Wow, and yeah, you're like inside of the point cloud, you're able to see all the different features, all the details that come in. Like I can actually see each individual point. Oh, that's really cool. Awesome. No, it's exciting to see this. So is this the direction that Land Labs is headed? Like what are you guys looking we to create? This just as another surface. We have the mobile phone for capture. We have, you know, other, you know, high quality LiDAR devices. And now you have this amazing headset that allows you to view this and make 3D content in 3D. So it just, it's ushering in a whole new world of spatial computers. So I love it. Well, great. Thank you, Jason. I really appreciate this. Glad you got a chance to try it out. And that's a wrap for day number one. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two of Geo Week 2024.